joining us today here at Desert Days. I am your host, Kathy Blaze, and today, guess who I have on my couch? I have hair and makeup artist, Toy Taylor. Welcome. Hello. Thanks for having me. Such a pleasure. I'm trying not to be nervous and make sure I don't use any inappropriate words. Oh, please don't. <laughs> I won't. I won't. We're live. We can't be doing those dropping in books. Right? 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 Here. right. Such yes. a pleasure. Thanks, Thanks for, for having me, Kathy. Such a pleasure. Such a pleasure. You look beautiful. Thank you. It's all due to my lovely makeup artist and hairstylist. Love it. Kudos to her. Yes. Toy Taylor. Yes. You are known around in the Arizona industry as a go-to person um, for makeup, hair. How did you get started with that? Oh, my goodness. Um, in the industry... Wow. Okay. Make it quick. 1988. I decided to go to beauty school uh, to do nails, to become a nail tech. Got my license, started doing nails, did that for 12 years, uh, got bored. Um, I found I'm always doing something. I have that serial mind of just, I, I'm a crafter. I'm a tinker. You are a Virgo, right? I am a Virgo That's through Virgo. and through. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> woo, woo. So um, a fellow nail tech said, we were just talking one day and she's like, you know what? I want to go to hair school. And I'm like, me too. Mm -hmm. I want to go to hair school. But I um, had a wonderfully blessed nail career, six days a week, 10, 12 hour days, just wow. making money. Mm -hmm. And then some bleep, bleep, bleep hit me head on in a car accident. Wow. And I broke my wrist. I was out for almost four months. Mm. Uh, those once a week, every two week clients, they are not hanging around. Right. So, and I just moved from my nine year place to a place I had two weeks, I think it was. So, um, well, you know, we always say God has jokes. He works in mysterious ways. Cause guess what? I had all the time in the world now to go to beauty school. Mm -hmm. So I was able to reformulate, um, my schedule to work like a Monday cause beauty schools are usually closed on Mondays. And um, I was able to work that schedule, go to school full time, get my hair license, um, and actually got pregnant with my son because, again, I don't like to do things solo. I do two and or three. You, and you had all, all this time. All this, so I had all this time. And so, again, busy, got my hair license. Um, I already had a built-in clientele. Um, the salon I was at, she let me use an empty station to start building. She was so kind. And um, then I believe it was 2013, um, a fellow hairstylist came to me and she's just like, hey, assist me. I need an assistant on a photo shoot at, uh, I believe it was a store in Paradise Valley. Okay. Paradise Valley Mall. So I went with her. At first I was like, I don't want to be no stinking assistant. What do I have to do? You know, she's like, well, clean brushes, you know, powder, makeup and stuff. Because I was Did doing bridal. Did you really say that? I did. Absolutely. <laughs> because I'm like, an assistant? Really? <laughs> but okay. And then plus it was also with a friend of mine. We've been friends since eighth grade. So, you know, we had it like that. And, um, um, and I had been doing makeup. I started doing makeup. I was doing weddings. Oh, and so okay. that was my whole thing. Pretty mm -hmm. girl makeup and everything. So I said, okay, I'll come out with you. Changed my life. Mm -hmm. I met, um, one of my mentors who I love. She is my sister in Christ, Ava Lewis. Uh, um, I met her. She was a model. But let's back up a little bit. But prior to meeting Ava, were you in the film industry prior nope. to? No. No? Okay. Not one bit. Okay. No. I had only worked weddings. I hadn't done a photo shoot. Nothing. And I just was in the right place at the right time. And then um, Kathy and I had done weddings together mm -hmm. and just traveled around. And I really found I started not liking weddings that much. Um, um, yeah. You should already know why. Because mm -hmm. they made a show called Bridezilla. Mm -hmm. That's all I got to say. And um, so I did that photo shoot. I met Ava. And again, I find in my career, even in hair, makeup, all of it, 
just getting a little bored because I get right. stagnant. You know, that yes, brain, yes, our yes. brain has to be constantly. Um, so in what area did done. you, um, what capacity did you meet Ava Lewis? So she was a model. I was a makeup artist did makeup, connected. She was telling me about chronic behavior. Okay. She had just started chronic behavior about oh, a year. Okay. Um, she was uh, attending fashion week and mm -hmm. doing stuff like that. So I said, wow, you work in branding people. Mm -hmm. And now mind you, I told you I started in 1988. Uh -huh. One thing that is difficult for us artists who are of that age, of mm -hmm. that era, is that by 2012, 2013, everything's electronic. Yeah. So now I'm like, oh my gosh, how do I rebrand myself? Because my if I'm this age, my clients have got five to 10 years on mm -hmm. me. So I'm finding my clients are older, I'm older. How am I going to get this new generation to come to the nail tech that only did the pink and white nails? No airbrushing, no stones, no tips. When I tell people I sculpt nails and they're like, what is that? <laughs> and it was just like, I was like a dinosaur. So I had to figure this out. And Ava's like, oh, well, I could help you out with that. And I'm like, all right, let's set up a meeting. Okay. So long story short, set up a meeting. We get to talking. She's telling me all about herself. Um, and I'm, I did think a little bit she was a little bragging. <laughs> I did. I am not going to lie. I told my sister, I, she knows, she knows. But let me tell you what, she was walking and talking mm. the top, serious. Mm. I left with a job. Mm. So she didn't rebrand me. She hired me. She said, do you write? And I'm like, I love to write. She's like, you do? She goes, what have you written? I'm, and, I, I, and in the meantime, I went back and got a, a bachelor's degree. Oh. In psychology and human services. Again, During that time? Yes. I graduated in but 2010, you, you 2011. Your, you finished your, um, your um, you went to hair school. You finished that. I went to hair school in 99, 2000. I was licensed. I got bored in between and decided we should finish that degree. Oh. So, because I went to ASU in 1985. And you were raising your son during that yes, time. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Single mom. Yeah. Single mom. Yes. And I decided to go get a degree because... Why not? I have nothing else to do. So I got my degree. And so I just said, yeah. So she said, send me what you've written. No joke. <laughs> I sent her case studies I wrote. Oh, okay. I did. I did a case study on Howie Mandel. I did case studies on a couple of other people in celebrities, right. you know, with certain disorders that we know of and everything. It's still writing. Mm -hmm. It's I mean, still that writing. Was, that was a sample. And so she's like, great. I have a job for you. And I'm like, okay, what job? And she's like, well, Phoenix Fashion Week's coming up and I need a blogger. And I was like, what's a booger? What's a what? <laughs> did and you she, say a booger? I did. <laughs> because I did not know what this word blogger was. I really didn't because I wasn't into all that. Okay. I wasn't just into sure. all of this. Was, uh, again, you you went back to what you were saying that you were a dinosaur. You were learning the new yes. technology and new yes. things. So yes. that, I mean, that was great for you. I'm sure I was on Facebook. But Instagram, all mm -hmm. that, no. I may have had a page. Mm -hmm. So actually, it was on a photo shoot that, and I'm still in touch with these three young models, shamed me. Y'all shamed me because I didn't have an Instagram. Oh. And I, and they're like, well, what do you want your name to be? I was like, I don't know, Toy Taylor. They're like, no, what do you like? I said, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just me. I'm just Toy. And they're like, just being Toy. Just, that's actually that's how Just that, Being Toy came out. And that's out. how Just Being Toy was created. Mm -hmm. And so I went to Phoenix Fashion Week that first year in 2013. And we've been attending every year, except for last year we you did virtual. You attended as Just Being Toy. As I attended as a, a, a employee of Chronic Behavior. Uh -huh. So we do red carpet hosting. I've gotten to know designers. Uh -huh. I've gotten to wear my first designer duds. Um, a, uh, a local designer. He's fabulous. I said, you took my little virginity here oh, because Lord. you're my first designer. <laughs> that is actually, I got fitted. I mean, mm -hmm. I felt like, mm, 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 mm. Mm -hmm. and I got fitted and everything and he made me so my how first does, How does this change you um, as, oh, as far as your gosh. branding? Oh my gosh. Uh, my name got out there more, mm -hmm. but I found people only thought I was a blogger. Mm. They thought I was only a writer. Mm. And then I'm like, no, I'm actually a hair and makeup artist. They're like, you are? So I started doing Ava stuff. So mm. I'm like, right. she, Ava's like, we got to get you out there more. Get mm. you out there more. 2014, 
2015-ish. I'm at an event out at the Hotel Valley Ho, and a um, friend of mine came over. Th- I need you to meet somebody. Mm-hmm. She grabs me by the hand. She takes me right over, and she says, hi, Gita, Toy. Toy's a makeup artist and a hairstylist. She wants to be in film. And Gita, mm-hmm. we love Gita, says, oh, you're so wonderful. What are you doing Tuesday? I'm like, working? What am I doing Tuesday? What am I doing? And she's like, well, I need a makeup artist. I need a hairstylist. So that's where the film... She got me my two first films that I did. Congratulations. Yes, thank you. You're on yes. IMDb. Yeah, I am on IMDb. <laughs> I have gone in and um, and I uh, uh, was working the Worldwide Women's Film Festival. Uh, and I was just like, oh, no, the corner room is showing. Can I please go watch? Because uh, I've never seen it. Because that's what happens. You work the so film. So that was one of the films that you're in, the corner mm-hmm, room? Mm-hmm, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Illusion and the corner room. And then there's one other. She has a lot of period piece work, uh, so yes. I love it. She tests my skills, yeah. especially on this last one. It was, we need to do a, what's that Buffon? Oh, what's that called? That that Buffon-y hairdo from oh. back in, oh, it's back in the times of suff- the yeah, suffragettes. I, 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 and, I, I, yeah, I yeah, yeah. Oh, it, what but... is that? The Gibson. Oh, okay. So I had to learn how to do a Gibson. Hmm. I'm like, okay, I got this. I got this. And it's been off and running. It has been off and running, and I am so blessed. My career has taken me to California. You have some new things coming up yes, here this year. I do. So I like to talk a little bit. I'd like to talk a little bit more about the film industry first before we move on to the new projects sure, that sure. you have coming up. Um, you were speaking about being on a set where you were creating these period pieces. Oh yes, yes. Um, just you know. That's one thing I love about working with um, director, writer, uh, Gita Fareed. She um, is always like in the 30s and the 40s. And and I just, I love that. So I had to learn how to do a Gibson hairdo. Right. Um, and, uh, and so and, she pushes it. She and, pushes it. And I of course, it. with her, that's her specialty it is. here in Arizona. It is. And you have to be authentic with your skill set, with learning that. What mm-hmm. What is your method for um um creating the looks for her uh after you get with her and 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 understand her vision and where she wants to be honestly i go to pinterest i will say as much as i say i was a dinosaur trying to have to learn this tech technological age and everything and everything going on i'm telling you for us artists pinterest has become your best friend because people have already done the work and it is amazing what people will put up there but i'm like i'm so happy thank you gibson hairdo because right. I had to look at it. And I'm a, I'm very much like my father. We don't read instructions. Mm. We like to look at stuff. And we look you at like it. The picture. And we look at pictures. And, and I can look around and decide. And I'm like, okay, let mm. me work that out. And yes, then you pull out the doll, the doll head, the tripod, yeah. everything. And you just get busy and you start constructing. When it comes to make out, you take out your face chart books. Right. And you so start doing that. Technology mm-hmm. has been a great asset to you. Yes. So considering yes. where you came from, yes. uh, when you, how you got started. Yep. So being able to use Pinterest and TikTok and a mm-hmm. lot of these YouTube things, University. Yes. Don't forget. <laughs> mm-hmm. Some of these areas that we see on Facebook um, that they call them Facebook makeup artists mm-hmm. and hairstylists. Do you utilize those areas also when it comes to your skill set? Well, yes and no. I am not a YouTube makeup artist. I am not. On most days, I am more than happy to walk around face free. Mm-hmm. I am not one who has to have a slayed face all day long. Right. Um, the pandemic has taught us that. Mm-hmm. And I've gotten to love my face. And the pandemic taught me to take better care of your skin and everything uh, because I, you had the time to pamper right. yourself. Right. So um, I'm not and really the that. the pandemic has also taught us taking care of your face, especially as a makeup artist or a female, mm-hmm. because we have to use zoom and those virtual Girl, um, so say it again for the wanna, people in the back <laughs> you want to <laughs> yes be able to get on those yep. uh, those um, platforms and look your best yes because guess who you're looking at on zoom it's not the people you're zooming with right. it's you yes. you're really looking at yourself yes. you're looking at this and you're right you are all business from here yeah. from here up my business has grown quite a bit in the skincare department i am not an esthetician but i do have for skincare lines. So for your at home skincare routines, I have helped quite a few women who are just like, wow, I really need to You're work able, with because this. Because they're, they're seeing 
Mm -hmm. all of it. Absolutely. As my coach would say, it's this little box. Mm -hmm. You're in mm -hmm. that box for yep. them right now. So you're showing them what normal skin should look like, well taken care of skin should look like. Absolutely. Well, what it is is that you're looking at your skin. So you're actually seeing your lines. You're yes. seeing the dryness. You're seeing the uneven skin tone because it's different when you're in the office right. versus when you're sitting on Zoom, you have your ring light. You have some sort of light. Mm -hmm. You have that god-awful office light right. that's just hanging over the desk and doing stuff like that. So it makes your skin tone completely different, completely off. So you see a lot of different things. And so when I have clients coming to, to the salon in there, because a lot of people are still home mm -hmm. and they're still that's Zooming. True. And they'll say, well, what can I do? I feel like I'm smoother. And I'm like, okay, let's talk. Right. So And the first and, thing and, I have people an, do. And, a, yeah. and another thing that happened, and it happened to me, being at home mm, right. hours in a day. On that computer. We tend to take our bodies for granted. Yep. Um, not drinking as much water as yep. we need to. So our skin, our face break out. Yep. And it's so noticeable. Yes. So I've had that experience. I know I'm horrible. I'm a horrible water drinker. I am so happy you said that because I um, actually just finished writing my book. I just started, a, uh, just, just started, I've been going on for a couple of years, but I wrote a book for mature women because yeah. my demographics, my specialty is women like 40, 45 and up because I understand all of our issues and all of our problems with our skin yes. and our gut Yes. and gut health is yeah. usually the number one problem. Number two, lack of water. It amazes right. me how many people in the state of Arizona don't drink a lot of water. Yeah. I'm like, water is everywhere for you, everywhere for you. You have to drink water. You think about it. When you're thirsty yeah. and you take a drink of water, you instantly. I don't want to tell you, you what I, I, don't want to tell you what I do. <laughs> Sweetheart, we have known each other for so long. We have known each other for so long. Yes, I'm getting you on that drinking yeah. water thing. But I know that you brought us some media today. I'd like to look at some of the pictures and see some of the work that you've been doing out in sure, the community. Sure, sure, sure. Let me turn your vision into a reality. I am Toy Taylor, your hair and makeup artist. So we have a, a great diversity of pictures. I get there. goosebumps every time yeah. I look that. I just had that made this year. Makes it. it I'm blessed. Wonderful. I'm very. I'm very blessed. Yeah, just to tell you, um, the peacock, the girl with the feathers, yeah. and everything. That was my very first 16 hour. Uh, custom or uh, concept shoot. Okay. I worked with a Phoenix Fashion Week designer, um, Olga Medivib. She's out of Tucson. Okay. She grew up on an ostrich and peacock farm. Oh. So she actually made clothes out of peacock feathers. Oh. And so we had a concept that we wanted to turn humans into a peacock. So she made a peacock coat wow. that she's been trying to get to Katy Perry. I don't know if it ever made it. <laughs> Um, she cut peacock feathers out for me, so I uh -huh. could actually glue them on and everything. So that was fun. Um, the woman in the blue tied, that was a very private closed shoot. It was a shibari shoot. Shibari is body tying, rope mm. tying, suspension, and that's as far as I can go on that. Oh, okay. um, that was incredible from the sense it was so powerful and uplifting to the men and women mm. on set, the the Shibari master came from San Francisco. Mm. I mean, this was this was next level stuff. She is a school teacher. She wanted to do something to just make herself feel alive. Oh, okay. And we had nudity. We had cameras going. We had whatever you want to do. I got my first experience with a trans model. Mm. I mean, it almost just wanted to make me cry because I just saw just the, they stood a little bit taller, you know, mm. and just everything. And so she didn't want to be nude or anything, but she walked around topless. And mm. I'm like, okay, girl, 
But that's that was her thing. Right. She's like, I'm gonna do it, you know. Mm-hmm. And it was just like so amazing. And then he tied her like, all what up. What was and... the picture of you? Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so the picture of me with the, I love blood and guts. I mm-hmm. love blood and gut movies. I, I love too. to work it, everything. Okay. So I am not political at all. I'm not political at all. But I was watching all the election mm-hmm. when it was the Trump Biden thing. Mm-hmm. Going, no, the Trump Hillary okay. thing going on. So when that was happening and Trump, it was right at the point where they were going to say Trump was winning and all this craziness people were talking in the streets. I mean, even my own mother really thought, My son, being a young black man, was not going to be able to walk the street. Mm. Like, they were going to be incarcerated immediately. And I'm like, come on, people. Y'all crazy. We're going apocalyptic. And I was just sitting there playing, and I did my face in about three and a half hours, watching all the politics on my TV were going. And it was my whole thing of... This is what happens when I'm watching the election and everything you sure on TV. You were in contact with my uncle, and, and I just made this whole <laughs> apocalyptic. Because again, I'm as best with zombies oh, and wow. all that. So I just did these crazy scarring on my face, and I just looked in the mirror and I started taking photos and just, mm, you what know, was that representing? I don't know my crazy thought process, and I thought this is what's going on right now. Everybody mm. in the world is crazy. Everybody is just crazy. Well, you know, calm I, down. I, I we're going to get off the politics right now. But yeah. I, I want to know about your hairstyle. Is this what represents Toy Taylor right now? Yes. So um, I wear sister locks, mm-hmm. not dreadlocks. I wear sister locks. They're just a more feminine form of sister locks. I've had them for about sixteen years now. And when I was working in LA, I. Again, I just get these little surges to just be different. Mm. I just want to be different. And I walked around the film set for about four hours with the whole side of my head in a knot. They were like, why do you have a doorknob hanging out the side of your head? And I said, because I really think I'm going to shave my head. And on um, 2019 New Year's Eve, I had my friend come to the salon. I was like, do it. Do it. And he's like, are you serious? I was like, shave it off. And so shaved it off and I was like, new toy. You felt it. New toy. And it's just like, okay. So and how I, long have you how long have you been wearing this style now? Since December thirty first of twenty nineteen. Wow. And in six years I'm shaving my head. Okay. I well, said by the time I'm sixty, I'm shaving my head off. Okay, because I will be sixty in six years. Tell our audience where they can find yes, you. Yes, yes. Oh man. Toy Taylor on Facebook. Just being toy on Twitter and Instagram, TikTok, all that. All over the place. I'm just being toy. Just you being can find toy. me. Follow Kathy. You'll find me. And it was a pleasure to have you here thank today. Thank you. Thank Such you. Such a pleasure. And thanks thank for sharing you. all the information. Yes. Thank you. It was fun. And thank you for joining us here today at Desert Wood Days. I am your host, Kathy Blaze. And I'm- Medicaid and CHIP offer free or low-cost health coverage for kids and teens. Get peace of mind knowing that doctor's appointments, hospital visits, prescriptions, shots, and more are covered. Enroll today. Learn more at insurekidsnow.gov. Paid for by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. As a young girl, I just grew to love using power tools, pouring concrete, and doing things that were scary and loud, and yet I looked around and realized no other girls are doing these things. As I grew up, I realized that girls need to see themselves in this space. Start here. So that's what I set out to do, and I became an educator and a mentor for young girls. No masks down till clear. Making teaches girls how to think of their ideas as important. Go light. It changes the way they think about what they're capable of. If I can fuse metal, 
what can't I do? Perfect. Look at how good that was. <laughs> and so I think making for girls is about voice, and that's what's really exciting because we're building the world we want to see for ourselves. Yes, so cool. <laughs> now I want to hear why you make. Share your own Why I Make story today. Visit whyimake.org. Sign up for free to become a vet tixer and start creating new happy memories that will last a lifetime. Go to vettix.org to become a member now. Vettix, give something to those who gave. At Social Security, we are always thinking of ways to save you time and make things easier. That's why we created My Social Security. A My Social Security account allows you to access your earnings history and benefits information, request a replacement Social Security card, get a proof of income letter, estimate and apply for benefits, and more. Save time. Go online. Open a My Social Security account at ssa.gov slash myaccount. Social Security. Securing today and tomorrow. Produced at U.S. taxpayer expense.